So, so hi, my name is Mavoy Bertram and I'm a faculty member at York University. I'm here with Jane Wen giving her feedback on her video of how to prime an IV line. Okay, Jane, I just wanted to give you some feedback here. Okay. So I noticed that you you have outlined very clearly what you're doing, which mm -hmm. uh, is great, so that viewers are able to follow you clearly through the steps. What I noticed, though, is that you haven't uh, conducted hand hygiene at this point prior mm -hmm. to starting uh, the, the priming, which would prevent the transmission of microorganisms. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend that you at least verbalize that in, okay. in the video if, uh, or use hand sanitizer mm -hmm. just to demonstrate that. So we can continue watching. I'll give you some feedback here as well. I, when if, what I would recommend that you do is also just to fill the drip chamber because sometimes the bags don't always run freely once you spike them. Mm -hmm. And if there's no fluid in the, to, in the drip chamber, then this may just cause it to go through very quickly and uh, cause more ear bubbles to develop. Mm -hmm. So you would just fill that to start and then you would open the roller clamp and allow the fluid to, to prime the line. To also prevent bubbles, I would recommend that you just invert the port. So as the fluid is passing through the port, just invert it and you could just tap it very gently. And this would allow the ear bubble just to pass through as well. And one other thing, I noticed that you're maintaining the sterility of the tip of the um, line, which is great. But I noticed that you also touch the garbage just to move it closer to you. So I would recommend you could just move it with your feet or if you do touch the garbage, then you would need to do hand hygiene once more. Go ahead. Move.
So this the party is gonna be going into the the top something more like deep in the pot right here. Okay, and now this is gonna have secondary line. So again, five in it. And you did a great job there by uh, ensuring that you cleaned mm -hmm. the, the port thoroughly prior to connecting your secondary line. And you also maintain the sterility of this pipe, which was great. And your back priming technique was great as well. So overall, I think you did a really good job. Oh, thank you. I thank you for reviewing the video with me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome.